Last weekend's installment of Blue Planet 2 proved a harrowing experience for some viewers. Gone were the lovable dolphins and cuddly walruses of the first episode. In their place, we were treated to the sight of sharks eating a rotting sperm whale carcass, the hideous fangtooth fish and zombie worms. On Twitter, one frightened chap wrote, I'm never going in the sea again. But episode 3 introduces what may be the most disturbing subaquatic beast to grace our screens all year, Eunice Aphrodite, a predator known to its friends if it has any as the bobbit worm. David Attenborough, presumably due to the BBC's rigid guidelines on impartiality, does not actually call the bobbit worm evil. But his program very very heavily implies it. Its on-screen murder of a helpless bream is underscored by music redolent of the psycho shower scene. This ambush predator lies in wait, invisible, under the sand of the ocean floor, before emerging in a flash to devour its prey. We haven't seen this kind of knuckle-biting tension on TV since, well, since the iguanas vs. snakes scene in Planet Earth 2. The monstrous bobbit, we learn, has jaws as sharp as daggers and can grow to be ten feet long. Imagine a cross between the chest burster in Alien and the Sand Monsters in 1990 creature feature Tremors, and you'll be halfway there. In 2009, a four-foot-long specimen was found to be killing all the fish at an aquarium in Cornwall. The worm reportedly destroyed the traps the aquarium staff left for it, and simply ate the hooks Blue Planet 2 the spectacular BBC. Natural History series, in pictures if its actions weren't grisly enough, its name has an equally unpleasant backstory it refers to a notorious 1993 incident in which an American woman called Lorena Bobbitt cut off the penis of her husband, John. Luckily, in Sunday's episode of Blue Planet 2 we learn that the Bream have an ingenious method of rendering the Bobbitt worm almost harmless. Other highlights of the episode, which focuses on the world's coral reefs, include a turtle beauty salon. The sight of an octopus and a coral group are teaming up to hunt together in Australia's Great Barrier Reef, and the story of a saddleback clownfish's mission to create a safe home for his partner. More seriously, there is also a potent reminder of how these lush reefs, which harbor around a quarter of the world's marine life, could be decimated by even a small increase in the ocean's temperature. So far, the series which follows 2001's The Blue Planet has met with five-star reviews from the critics. This week's episode looks unlikely to disappoint. The third episode of Blue Planet 2 airs this Sunday at 8pm on BBC Two.